All right, let's see if this is working today. It says I'm live. I don't know if I believe it or not. Check my page real quick. All right, it worked the first time. That's the first time it's worked, the first time, in about two weeks. All right, well, welcome everybody. Um, first off, you know, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some strategies that I've used over the years. These are fundamental strategies that really every top professional in network marketing uses uh, pretty much every day. Some of them aren't talked about too much, some of them aren't taught too much, but they're all used. And uh, some of them are old school, some of them are kind of in the new age, but they're all really, really important. You know, if there's one thing I can tell you about the industry is that there are certain fundamentals in every business, right, that you have to learn to master and get good at, at least get good at and master some if you want to be really effective, right? So that, that's just the way it is, whether it's business, athletics, fitness, you know, you know, people who've been married 50 years, if you find people who've been really, really successful at anything, you'll find that uh, they do very similar things uh, to get that success, right? So it's just the way it is. Now, um, if you're new, I want you to type new in, uh, in the comments so I can reach out and say hi to you. I'd like to see the new people and engage with you a little bit and, uh, and make sure you, you type in where you're from. If you're a repeat visitor, do the same thing. Say hi, tell me where you're calling in from. I wanna see the reach that we're actually uh, achieving using Facebook. And of course, if you like the value that I'm putting out, be sure and like the video, right? I mean, it, uh, you know, liking it gets that engagement, you know, it helps you, it helps me, it helps everybody. Rising tides raise all ships, one of the things that I always say, all right? And if, you're, if you watch me live consistently, you can click subscribe. I think it's at the bottom left. Uh, and Facebook will actually send you the information as I go live quicker, right? So you can get on and catch me live. And if you're consistently doing the repeat, maybe you, maybe you work a, a night shift or you're in another country where the hours don't sync up with when you're awake, uh, go to my follow button on my page and click follow. And then you'll see it'll say see first, right? Click see first and it'll actually uh, plug what I've done while you're asleep into your feed so when you wake up, you got it. All right, now, uh, another thing I wanna mention, right? Learners are earners, and earners take notes, right? So this isn't a documentary, <laughs> this is the class. So if you wanna learn, take notes, right? Everybody I've ever seen that's been really, really successful is obsessed with taking notes. If you're just, if you're not taking notes, you're just watching. You might as well go watch a, a video on YouTube and get entertained. All right. Now, let's jump into, uh, let's see who we got real quick. I'll say hi to a few people, then I'll jump into the content. All right. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Jamie. Larston, what you doing, man? And uh, hey, Cameron, what's up? All right, now, let's jump into this. All right, the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about, the first of the nine principles, which is uh, super important. Now, you hear a lot about uh, identifying your why. Uh, take that a step further. You need to know everybody's why that you're gonna work with, right? That's leverage. If they can't define their why, um, you know, that's questionable how committed they are, right? And you need to know that so you have leverage on them as you're working with them because you can always bring those things up. There's always gonna be times when they're a little bit troubled. You can bring up that why or have them get that why out when you're working with them. And I can tell you, it sort of reboots people because they realize, okay, this, this thing that, I'm, that I need to push through, there's something really big behind this I need to accomplish. And that, that gives you the leverage. If they can't give you details on their why, probably not a good prospect, probably not a great rep to, to focus on. All right, uh, you're, you're, and if you don't focus on getting the why, you're selling, you're not sifting, right? You need to sift for people that are serious about the business and about going forward or you're gonna be wasting time. And uh, professionals don't just sign anyone, they don't just sign everyone, right? If you haven't turned down a rep, you know, you're probably relatively new uh, or a few years into it, you know, if it's not a good fit, you know, as you get more, more and more down the, down the road, you're not going to actually sponsor everybody because people that you sponsor want time. And if it's not gonna work out long-term, you don't wanna invest that time. You know? So just know that it's not for everybody. 
And uh, you know, so you so anyway, I'm not gonna go into I'm not gonna beat that that horse to, horse to death. All right, number two. Here's here's this is kind of old school. Make a list of people that you know. You should you should if you really love your product and your opportunity, you should be willing to talk to people about it that you care about. Okay? If you aren't willing to talk to people that you care about about it, I I question your belief, right? It's a shame you don't believe enough in your product or your opportunity to show it to people that you care about. That's a big deal. You should probably have around 200 names that uh, on your list, or you've edited it, or you've prejudged. Uh, and I know that that some people aren't willing to go to their their sphere of influence. That that again tells me that see if I know I, if I know I've got a great product and I've got a great company and I'm going to do it until it's done, I should have maybe a little anxiety about how to approach people and and if they're going to reject me, but. Questioning whether I should go to them or not, it's out of the question, right? It's everybody should know about what you're doing. If you had a restaurant, would you invite everybody you know? You would, right? It's just it's just the way it is because you believe in it, right? You know they eat. Just know that everybody wants to look younger, feel better, make money, have more free time, uh, retire with, with more of an nest egg. I mean, the things that this type of business offers, no matter what your product or service, are things that everybody should want and you should believe in it enough to talk to them. All right, now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about tomorrow. I'm gonna to talk to you about some approaches where I'm gonna teach you how to talk to successful people. If you'd love to know how to talk to successful people, uh, put a boom in the, uh, in the, in the comments there because I'm gonna show you tomorrow how I recruited some of the top people in business and I got them into network marketing, which is pretty rare. All right, so that's a little teaser about tomorrow. Now the third thing is that that professionals choose one or two things to focus on at a time, right? They focus on getting good at something. It's kind of like if you're going to work out or you're going to be fit or if you're going to be a bodybuilder or whatever or if you're going to if you're going to get involved in in a, in, a, in a sport, you work on fundamentals first and you gradually build up what you do, what your activity is, maybe your strength, maybe your endurance, but it's a building process, right? You don't go in all out, you know, the first day. Right, just like if you're gonna train for a marathon, you don't start running 26 miles the first day. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> you need to build up to that kind of stuff, right? So pick one or two things that you're going to master and work on those and get really well rounded in those areas before you start adding. Otherwise, it's just you're doing you're you're trying to be a jack of all trades. You'll be a master of none. All right. Now, top leaders never ever stop continuing education. All right, you should always be learning, right? You're, you should be plugging into things like the scoop. Uh, you should have uh, about 20, 25 minutes a day minimum, right? Maybe a little bit more of good quality content uh, of a specific book that you're reading to grow yourself. Now, here's the thing. I see people buying everything that comes out, going to everything that comes out, going to every seminar, going to buying every book. It's just a massive amount of information. You need to figure out, what area do I need to focus on the most to enhance my skills, to improve my productivity, and get a targeted book for that, right? Target things you want to get better at instead of putting mountains of information on top of more information, right? So if you're going to read books, target the area that you want to grow, right? Not just get four or five random books, get a book on what you're trying to learn, all right? And another thing, don't hide behind personal development. Oh, let me get ready, let me get ready, let me get ready, let me get ready. It's, that's, that's the people that buy everything that comes out, buy every book that comes out. They're, they're a professional student. They take very little action because they're always trying to get more information, right? Don't hide behind personal development. You've got to do 25, 30 minutes a day maybe, and then you've got to take action all day, right, to apply what you're learning that's targeted. All right? Five. Now, most people in the industry today include some type of social media activity, right? You, this is just the, this is the future, guys. Okay, the people that doubted, you know, MLM back in the day, it's here to stay. People that doubted the internet, it's here to stay. Social media is here to stay. It's the most powerful platform on the planet to grow your following, to grow your reach, to connect with more people, and be able to show what you can do or reach out and what you can do to help them, right? So it's, you know, you've got to figure out how you're going to implement some kind of social media strategy. 
You want to schedule it every single day and practice it, just like we talked about uh, on, on this, one of the slides before. Practice, 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 practice. Be consistent. You know, you need to find what are your income producing activities. This is one of the things I teach when I'm mentoring people. We break down everything that's income producing, then you organize it, and then you prioritize it, and then you schedule it, and then you have a daily goal or an activity for that income producing activity where you know how many times a day you're going to do it, right? And then be consistent at executing your plan because repetition is the mother of skill. You gotta know what, what, the, what the income producing activities are, organize them, prioritize them, have goals for each one of them, and go out and have an, have an action plan to attack those every single day. Seven, uh, it's a do or die mentality, okay? It, failing is not an option. You, you may have to occasionally change your strategy, change your approach. You may have to change the product that you're leading with, maybe within your company. Uh, and you may, you know, in, in rare occasions, have to change companies for whatever reason, right? But you never veer from your dreams and your goals. That's a constant. How you get there, it can change. But, but the ultimate goal has to be, you know, that you're not, no matter what, you're going to do it or die trying. That was one of, my, one of my posts a couple days ago. Some of my original goals that I had written in my visualizations and I had on a dream board, they weren't part of my daily activity, but they were things that I wanted to accomplish. Some of them didn't come to fruition for 12 years, right? I needed a lot of work <laughs> to get to a certain level. And, and all these things that I learned over the years were building blocks that made me stronger and better in different areas until I got some of those things mastered and uh, where I could do them well. Some of those goals that were lofty weren't attainable, right? You're not going to go from zero to hero like that and accomplish huge goals. You're just not. Or if you do, maybe you hit something perfectly and, and you're lucky, but you probably won't retain it, right? Because you don't even know how you got there, right? Process of learning takes some time, especially mastery. Eight, offer a crazy amount of value. People buy people first more than they buy companies and products. So your value to your prospects and your value to your team has to be paramount. You know, I reach out and speak to people all the time that are followers, and I actually have a little private session with them. And uh, sometimes they reach out to me and I, and I meet with them. I know these people probably won't hire me ever, right? I'm not here to just get clients. I'm here to impact people and make a difference. All right, how cool would it be if I'm on stage speaking to a few thousand people later and somebody comes up to me and says, you know that training you did way back when? I was this close to quitting. That kept me in the deal. And then I applied some of your strategies. Now I'm a million dollar earner. How cool would it be to create millionaires, right, that I didn't even privately coach, but they followed, they learned, they stuck with it. You know, I had, I had a little input uh, and impacted them enough to stay and and keep going and learning, right? You have to be willing to put out a hundred times what you want to get back, right? That's what that's what value is, and value is free, all right. Otherwise, it's a, it's a it's a paid course. And nine, this is the one that you don't teach that people don't teach very much. It's find your target market and know what your intention is, right? But but you need to know exactly who your who your perfect clientele is. It, a lot of people call it their, your, your avatar, right? The person that's best suited for your business or your product. You need to know what that is, right? This isn't, this isn't really ever talked about much. There's too much out there about the shotgun approach and really recruiting or trying to sell everybody that can fog a mirror, right? You know what fog a mirror means, right? That means they're breathing, right? They're alive. It fogs up the mirror. You don't want everybody to be your client or your rep, right? It's got to be a fit. Otherwise, you're selling and convincing, right? You've got to find... Who is your perfect person that you want to attract? And what is your perfect customer avatar? So, you know, find out who's best suited for your biz op and your product. Is it male? Is it female? Is it both? What's the, the age category, right? And maybe there's an income qualifier. Maybe you've got a higher end product. You need to know, you know, who that is, right? So you outline that. Now, now, obviously, when you're out working, you know, and you come across somebody, you want to prospect them no matter what. I prospected people that were 20 and people that were 70, right? Even though my, my per perfect customer avatar back in the day was 35 to maybe 50, right? But, but when I was reaching out to talk to people, I looked for people that fit the, the mold of what I'm trying to accomplish, right? So 
when you're out working or targeting something, it's got to be the, the right avatar, right? What, what are their needs? Find out who they are, what are their needs, how you can, how you can solve their problems. That's really the key. And uh, the rest of, of, of this one thing is that what drives their behavior, right? Ask questions. I'm going to give you a couple questions here I used to ask people to find out what they're about. But I would ask them, what has you looking for ways to make extra money, right, or additional money? And then when they would answer that, well, I need to make uh, an extra 3000 a month. Well, why is that important to you? What are you trying to accomplish? Right? I'm going to find out what drives their behavior. Why are they looking? What are they trying to accomplish? Because if I can become the solution to that, they're going to join, right? It isn't about just talking at people about, oh, we got this great thing. We're going to do this. We got this technology. We got this patent. We got, we're going to do a billion dollars. You're talking at people. You're not finding out what makes them tick and, and why they're actually looking. When you find out why they're looking and you become that solution, they're going to join, right? They're actually going to ask you for help. So it takes the sales out of it, right? Where people say, uh, you know, when, I would get to the end of my interview and I would say, would you like me to help you accomplish that, this thing that you said you wanted to do? They would always say yes, right? Because I'm, I'm, instead of going into some manipulative close, it was find out what makes them tick, show them how I could help them do that, and then ask them if they want my help. All right, does that make sense? All right, now, if this helped a little bit, you know, or a bunch, type awesome. And if you have any questions about this, I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, if, you, if, it's a, if it's an open question where everybody can see it, that's great. If you send me a private message, uh, if it's something you want to know that maybe you don't want to make it public, I'd love to, to make sure you get that answer. Again, check with me every day at 1 o'clock for, for my uh, Facebook Live for The Scoop. And uh, tag people that you know. Share it with your team. And I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.